available for a Sri Lankan medical graduate. Over to you, sir. Yeah, great. Uh, can you? Uh... We can see the screen, sir. See the screen, and is it uh, is it in a presentation mode? You can see that. Ah, yes, sir. Now it's okay. Take care. Excellent. Yeah. So yes, uh, thank you, Parmi, uh, for the introduction and invitation uh, to do this thing. And then, of course, uh, I'm going to claim one of your requests. Uh, that is, uh, like you know, you uh, you wanted us to sort of uh, give us some sort of uh, uh, introduction on ourselves and then some sort of inspirational things about our career and experience so far. But I'm going to get rid of that part because we are lacking uh, behind the time, so that I will restrict my uh, talk to. Uh, close to 10 minutes or slightly less than 10 minutes. Uh, yes, uh, so my job today is to uh, show you uh, an overview of opportunities that are available um, for Sri Lankan uh, medical uh, graduates, right? So um, basically I'll be, I'll be, my job is quite easy here today. Uh, I'll be uh, giving you a snapshot of uh, all the options and the rest of the speakers will be talking about most of these uh, aspects in detail. So I'll, I'll give you the uh, width of this and then the, uh, here af after this uh, session, uh, I mean my, my session, uh, you will uh, go into the depth of all these things. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll start from where uh, our default actually uh, taming uh, your uh, gorillas. Yes, yes. Uh, that's I fully agree with that. You know, this is where I prepared my stuff. Uh, you know, it really matched very well with uh, what he was talking about. Like, you know, uh, when you are, you know, this is about making your future decisions. This is the right time for a medical graduate. This is the time, uh, the most important time in your life, uh, where you are going to make a very, very important decisions. Very important decisions. So the decision you make today is going to determine, uh, obviously, you know, at any time you can change your fate, that's a different story, but uh, the right decision that you're going to make today is to determine or, or decide a lot of things in your uh, uh, life in future. Uh, so uh, when you're making this important, uh, valuable decision, uh, I think uh, it's, 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 it'll be very nice and good for, to stick to uh, you know, reflect upon yourself and then see how I prefer, what I prefer actually. It should be a personalized need. It should be very personalized. It's not, it's not what you uh, basically, know. what you genuinely need is not what you see around. Um, you know, your needs, you like things, you know, uh, how you actually enjoy your life. What is the pleasure for you uh, is completely different from the rest of the world. Right. Sometimes when you're making decisions, uh, the other uh, rest of the world might think like, okay, uh, he's taking the right decision, but you know, uh, be confident on yourself and then make the right decision to, to cater your needs. That's very, very important. Otherwise, you know, um, uh, uh, that, you know, life is going to be quite difficult. So when you're making the, uh, this sort of important decisions, very clearly we have to think about what we really need in that. Uh, you know, in that sense, it's very, very important how you are thinking of planning your uh, future in your personal life, right? So then, uh, you know, how, how, how you are going to plan your even the personal life, that, that matters. So is, you know, all the decisions that you're going to take should match together so that you can have a peaceful and a nice life. That is the ultimate goal. So when you're making decisions, think about all these things. So that the reason why I'm saying is, you know, you have a wide range of options. None is inferior to the other and uh, vice versa. So, uh, you know, only thing is you pick the right thing that suits you. There are wide range of options and different characteristics for each of the uh, uh, job uh, options that you have. So you have to pick the right one that suits you for your uh, need to, uh, to match the way you enjoy your life. That is a very personalized need. So we have to think about it, reflect upon us, and then make that right decision. And yes, we have to, when we are making the decision, we have to make that decision uh, quite early, early in the sense, this is the time for you to make the 
a decision. If I give you a time boundary, I would say for a medical graduate, obviously before the internship, if you can think about what you're going to be, say for example, if you're thinking of a clinical specialty, yes, uh, think about what clinical specialty I'm going to do. Uh, you know, then, you know, even in your internship selection might depend on uh, your, your decision. So, um, you know, I just got an example, but yes, it's very, very important. You make the decision early, uh, at least before the internship so that, you know, you can uh, plan out many things uh, accordingly and it should be very well informed. So you look for all the possible options available. And as I just mentioned, as, as uh, Dean also mentioned, like, you know, think about your future as well as uh, uh, what you really want. And with all this information in, in your hand, uh, make the right decision as to what you're going to do. Obviously, these decisions can change depending on the circumstances in future, but it's all about uh, the accuracy or the uh, uh, influence of a decision depends on uh, the circumstances at the time you are taking the decision. Right. So, yeah, so as long as you take a well-informed, a uh, good decision at a given time, it's it's perfectly uh, good. And then in future, things can, you know, you cannot retrospectively look back and say, I got a wrong decision because, you know, uh, the future circumstances are different. For the given time, you have taken the best decision. For you to make that, you have to think about uh, your needs, your preference. At the same time, you should be well informed about all the uh, options available. Right. So that is this is some sort of a uh, uh, session that would help you on this. And quick execution. That's very, very important. So uh, I haven't seen actually any, any scientific data behind this, but my personal experience, what I've seen around is actually uh, the people who start, uh, say, for example, uh, preparing for a postgraduate examination, people who started at the soon after the internship uh, have a higher success rate compared to a person who do uh, you know think of a, a postgraduate and uh, plan to sit uh, for a postgraduate exam after about uh, you know five six years after the internship so that's a uh, I haven't seen a specific data on this but then of course that's what I have heard and uh, seen right so it's very very important you you know take the well informed decision uh, early and then uh, execute, you know, implement or, or, or work onto that as early as possible. And then again, uh, you know, um, thinking of uh, like, you know, whatever the decision that you make, whatever the profession that you're going to go, it's very, very important that you uh, take on with uh, uh, professional development activities. It's very, very important, CPDs. So, because, uh, Nowadays, uh, everything is changing very rapidly. Uh, so it's very, very important. Uh, we be in touch with whatever the thing that we are doing. Uh, so CPD is going to be a very, very important thing in your future, whatever the profession, not even, even if you just in case see uh, the most contrasting thing is that you go on with a non-medical career for some reason. So yes, CPD again is going to be uh, a part and parcel of your future. So that's all very, very important tips uh, before I just get into uh, the exact thing uh, that I am going to give. This is the actually overview that I'm going to give you. So as a medical graduate, you are just waiting for your internship. Yes, and uh, obviously after the internship, uh, you will get the uh, medical council registration. And with all this, I'm, I'm talking about options available uh, that is going to be potentially available for you um, after uh, registration in uh, Sri Lanka Medical Council. So obviously you have uh, uh, option to uh, look for opportunities overseas and those could be, you know, permanent migration plus, uh, uh, you know, uh, short-term uh, temporary uh, decision. So obviously, you know, uh, would encourage most of uh, you to sort of work uh, uh, here, but then at the same time, it's personal decision. As I said, the, kids, the needs are personalized. So that's all. So there's a big chunk uh, there in overseas. So we will be talking during this uh, session, uh, the needs for overseas uh, opportunities like English requirements and other things. So I think uh, those are coming uh, well under the list. So yes, apart from that, actually we have, uh, 
the major component that is the clinical specialty training. So you can uh, be a clinical specialist and then you can join the uh, academia. So in the university sector, as we do, uh, you can uh, join uh, the uh, academic sector. And then obviously uh, uh, there are other options available in the public sector. Uh, that is the current uh, job opportunities. Uh, you know, you can uh, serve in different ministerial level. Uh, so many other uh, public sector uh, options are uh, available for uh, medical officers. And then, so then, uh, then you might sometimes uh, make a decision for some reason, uh, you know, it's, we highly encourage you to go for a postgraduate uh, work, a postgraduate study, and then uh, further your career beyond the point where you are. But then for some reason, if you uh, make the decisions decision to uh, stay as a medical officer, then of course, uh, as I highlighted at the very beginning, it's very, very important you be in touch uh, with your CPD activities at least so that uh, you perform at your best in the position wherever you are. And uh, the other thing is uh, private sector. We have seen uh, people now going for complete private sector. Uh, and uh, I, I think I think we are talking about entrepreneurship and uh, related things in here as well. So private sector is another different aspect that you can think of. Apart from all these things, there could be completely other uh, things that you would be thinking of even a non-medical career, but that's, a very uh, extreme and rare, but that options are there. So, you know, those are very, very uh, personalized. So, uh, so basically when you are thinking about clinical specialty uh, training, uh, yes, uh, if you go to, you know, for you to be well informed of available options, obviously uh, this uh, PGM website, if you, you know, all the, all the uh, specialty trainings are conducted or, or done through uh, Postgraduate Institute of Medicine. So you can uh, go to uh, the PGM website and you can, it's a very comprehensive uh, 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 website for you to get to know, uh, have an idea of what exact things uh, are available to and for you uh, get opportunities. So, so you go through these things and then uh, try to sort of, if you're not sure of what, you know, what this actually means, what would it will involve, because there are some other things as well. So, uh, you know, get hold of uh, one of your seniors and then discuss and then uh, try to find the best fit for you. Say, um, uh, main clinical specialties are there, are some other options like uh, medical administration, uh, health informatics, and then medical education. There are so many uh, options available uh, within this PGM website. So for your specialty, uh, trainings. Yes, uh, for academic uh, uh, engagement. So if you are thinking of uh, joining as an academic or joining academia, uh, actually you can uh, plan, uh, you know, doing um, uh, uh, research-based studies, basically that is uh, MPhil's, PhDs, and then uh, even uh, Master of Studies. As well. In PJM, not only uh, specialty training, you have the other things like uh, uh, postgraduate diploma and uh, MSCs and so on. So you can select depending on uh, your need. And uh, yes, so then uh, this is a broad overview of what you are actually uh, being exposed to, what you have. And then of course, I think uh, from here on, you will hear about uh, all these uh, broad options uh, in detail, at least most of these things. So yeah, so wish you all the very best uh, with your internship and the rest of your career. And I hope you will make the right 